Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at constructing a table of data using Excel. So what we've got at the moment is a very rough and ready table of data. So we've done an experiment where we've started a trolley moving at a certain speed and we've measured how long it takes to come to a stop. Uh, so we've got uh, some data plugged in here, um, but there are a few problems with it and we're going to look at how we can fix those and format our table so it looks nice. So one of the first things you should learn as part of recording a table of data is that the precision or the number of decimal places should be the same all the way down, which it currently isn't. So what I'm going to do is I've highlighted my set of data and then we're going to use these buttons up here at the top. So the one on the left increases the number of decimal places, the one on the right decreases the number of decimal places. So uh, my the device I use to measure speed can measure to two decimal places, so I'm going to click increase and I'm going to do that a couple of times, that was way too many. So now we've got all of the data to two decimal places, which is nice. We can do the same thing with a breaking distance. This is all measured using a meter ruler, so we can have three decimal places there. And what we can see is we've now got them all to three decimal places, which is nice. The other thing we might spot at the top here is we've got some problems with the formatting. So in this column, we're calculating initial speed squared, and we've got some really annoying looking units here that we want to fix. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you how to use subscripts and superscripts in your table. So let's get rid of all of this. So what we want is if we square speed, we're going to get units of meter squared per second squared. So we want to go click this little button here. And when it finally decides to load, oh, well, we've crashed. OK, so we're going to go superscript, which means it goes above. OK, so we've got meter squared. We now need to get rid of the superscript because we want to write seconds. Oh, and it's gone capital because I've got caps lock on. Okay, so we're going to go, we don't want superscript, we just want the seconds. Now we want to go back into superscript again. And we go, and we want minus two because it's meters per second squared. And the superscript has clicked off again, uh, which is very irritating, but there we go. And we've got meters per second squared. So what we can do is we might want to change our titles so we can make them nice and bold. Or we might want to actually create a proper table. So let's do that. Let's give them some cells. Let's put a thick outside border around it. Same with our title up here. And these are all calculated values. So let's put them in their own column as well. And we can do the same thing. We're going to change it so we've got a nice looking table here. We want to calculate the speed squared, so what we're going to do, we want to type in equations, so we're going to go equals, and we want to square the speed, and if we want to square, we use this little hat symbol and do a 2. So what that's going to do is it's going to take whatever's in cell B3 and it's going to square it. And then what we can do is we can take this little corner and we can drag it down and we can apply it to all of the cells. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button here and go fill without formatting because I don't want to change the borders or any other thing like that. Then what I'm going to do is the initial speed is two significant figures. So I'm going to fix this value here. Uh, this should also be two significant figures. That should be two significant figures. These are going to all be two significant figure numbers. But now if we look at this column here, this 1.03 is a three significant figure number. So I'm just going to round that to 1.06, 1.61, and then 2.07. Now we've got a nice table that's been formatted with headings. All of our data is to the right precision. That's a good looking table right there. Okay.